Hello and thank you for joining us. This is Inside Texas Tech where we give you an inside look at what makes the Texas Tech University system great. Established in 1996, the system encompasses three universities with 13 campuses. One of the newest members of the system is Angelo State University. ASU recently launched a program that aims to provide students with the knowledge and skills to be tomorrow's defense and national security leaders. According to the Department of Defense, the United States has more than 205,000 military personnel operating in countries and territories outside the U.S. With that presence spread all over the world, there's a need for culturally savvy leaders. Angelo State University's Center for Security Studies was founded in 2010. The center's director says the new program aims to educate those who will one day be players in the global arena that it brings students face to face with cultural realities and complexities, um, some of the regional uh, aspects, uh, you know, the unique regional aspects of different parts of the world, and then how all of those things come together. Ehlers is a retired Air Force officer with nearly 24 years of experience. He says to fully understand the players on the world stage, one must first understand their context, culture, and worldview how those things come together in a certain part of the world and then how those groups or individuals uh, then view the United States based on their own culture and how we in turn need to pay very careful attention to their culture and to their forms of rationality. Ehlers says the new security studies program would have been an ideal way to start his career. This student in the program agrees. This will give me a boost up because in the military right now we're focusing in the Middle East and Asia, so it'll help me with my career to know what is going on when I have to fly missions in that part of the world. To help give students the world knowledge necessary to succeed in the global arena, the department founded the Global Immersion Center. ASU's Global Immersion Center is designed for the 21st century student. This omni-globe is not only cool to look at, but it's an educational tool too. Students can use it to look up various facts about the world, like land quality, population density, languages spoken. Really, the possibilities are endless. But this isn't the only piece of technology the center has to offer. This state-of-the-art classroom is a repurposed planetarium. Students attend lectures and watch presentations on this high-tech 360-degree screen introducing students to these new technologies, helping them uh, determine how best to use them and, and take advantage of them uh, so they can think and act and advise and lead more effectively in the 21st century is absolutely crucial. Another piece of technology here is this touchscreen world map. Students use it to concentrate on different regions all around the globe. It reveals facts and statistics while helping to put them into context. So it gives us an opportunity as students to be able to focus in on those regions. So for, say for example, when I'm studying South Korea, like we have up here, we can actually focus in on the different regions we're studying. And we can learn about the different cultures by knowing where different things in South Korea, North Korea, China, Japan, where those places are. Right now, the Department of Security Studies at Angelo State University offers four different degree programs for both bachelor's and master's degrees. And Ehlers says the program will be expanding even more this fall. To find out more about this and other Channel 5 stories, visit our website, kttz.org. And don't forget to find us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. For Inside Texas Tech, I'm Keith Kohanic. Thank you for watching.